Back now to that breaking news. TMZ reporting that O.J. Simpson has passed away. The Simpsons family also tweeting out this morning saying, on April 10th, our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer, surrounded by his children and his grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family is asking you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. I want to bring in Steve Krakauer now, News Nation Media contributor. OJ, Steve was 76 years old. He had been undergoing chemo treatment, and we now understand he passed away at his home in Las Vegas. We all think back to that car chase in 1994, the murders of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and his and her friend Ron Goldman. He was then acquitted of their murders in 1995, a case that the nation watched every single minute of uh, your reaction now to the news of his death and and how well known his cancer battle had been over the last few months yeah it, it appears to be fairly not well known uh, in fact only a couple of months ago his very active ex account uh put a message out there saying denying he he denied in a video that he was in hospice there had been some rumors or gossip that he was uh, it was not known, and it was somewhat of a shock. You know, in more recent years, he's become kind of a cultural figure for these for these funny posts that he puts out there on social media. Uh, he's become, you know, trying to kind of wade his way back into this to the spotlight in a way, um, accruing an audience on on these uh, on his Twitter now X accounts and other social media platforms. But obviously, as you mentioned, you know, he became famous, infamous, uh, even more than he was when he was back in his acting days or his football days because of that trial. That became just an, an absolute media cultural sensation. Uh, and in, in many ways, over the last uh, couple of decades, he's worked to kind of move away from that image of him. Uh, obviously, you know, he was, he was ultimately acquitted in that trial, later found uh, liable in a civil case. But, you know, people, I think, in many instances now think of him in that way uh, as, uh, as as a murderer, and and in, in more recent years, he's he's really tried, I think, to to shed that image uh, through some of these more funny posts that he's put out there, and uh, and, and that it continued in, into February, only about two months ago. So uh, so yeah, uh, pretty shocking news today, uh, and obviously, I don't think there's a person in the world who doesn't know the name O.J. Simpson. Yeah, do we know what type of cancer he was he was battling, Steve? I, it seems that we'll find out more. I, I think now, as, as information comes out there, uh, I have not seen any any reports yet on on what kind it was. And you know, even again, the, the confirmation of cancer in that social media message that you read uh, from whether it's family or representative, that's really the, the first time that that we have seen that confirmed uh, that it was cancer at all. So I, I think we'll probably learn more in the, in the in in the hours ahead. He was 76 years old. I mentioned a moment ago, surrounded by his children and grandchildren. How public was he? about his personal life in the last several years? Not not that public about it. You know, like I said, it, he, he was an active presence on social media, talking about sports, talking about football. You know, one of his last posts was about the Super Bowl and uh, and his plans for that and his plans to get back on the golf course. He often posted videos on the golf course. Uh, but almost always it was just him. It was just him in these videos, uh, in, in talking directly to the camera. It was not about you know his family or opening up about about more personal issues uh it really was more of of a, of a way for him to in, in a way connect with uh, an audience connect with well, i don't know i wouldn't say his fans uh but it was it was more surface in that way i think it was him weighing in uh on sports topics on culture topics on things happening in the news uh, he had a had a reference to uh, to Donald Trump actually in one of his last uh, videos that he posted on social media, so it was a way for him to get his voice back out there without really diving into to you know his life now. The families of Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman have always uh, been frustrated with the outcome of that verdict and acquittal in 1995. Um, even to this day, they think he he got away with murder. Uh, that will ultimately be his legacy, but he also had some other run-ins with the law over the last couple of decades um, that he's been trying to, to scrap from his persona. Absolutely. Yeah, there, there's been a, really a series of bizarre instances going back. I mean, in more recent years, there hasn't been, um, but there have been instances of, of stealing and, and uh, uh, a, a sort of someone was stealing memorabilia from him. And, and you know, it's it's been 
certainly a dissent. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.